and, and that risk group that we talk about is one important aspect of uh, how aggressive the cancer may behave. That's really what it means. It tells the physician the level of severity of that particular man's cancer. Uh, in recent years, there have been new tests that have become available that allow us to go beyond just that standard risk assessment. Uh, most notably, genomic testing, which looks at the genetic makeup of the cancer cells themselves to allow us to uh, become more individualized in our risk assessment. The Oncotype DX test is uh, available and is really built from the ground up to help men in deciding whether or not to treat or potentially not to treat and to do active surveillance. Uh, it is specifically for men that have what otherwise we would consider low, very low, or what we would call low intermediate risk cancer. So it's not for everyone. Um, there are some men where just from our basic PSA testing and uh, Gleason score that we feel that, that they're maybe too aggressive and frankly the Oncotype DX test wasn't developed to help with those cases. Um, there's a second test, uh, the Prolaris test, which does give some additional information even for those high risk patients. So it does incorporate some of the lower risk patients, but also seems very helpful to, to, to discuss really how quickly a cancer may progress on to even death uh, uh, in more high risk disease.